very amazing course. Thank you. Thank you very much. And my first question is,、um, why you choose China as the new site for to develop your link course? As we all know, you have already had the Asia edition in Singapore. So why China this time? Ah,、uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's. You know, when you look at the uh, attendees uh, in uh, Singapore,、uh, most of the people are coming from Southeast Asia, but very few comes from China.、Mm-hmm. And the real problem—it's to my understanding—it's because the Chinese people, for the time being, they don't, you know, manage too much the English language. So it's easier for them to go in a Chinese environment with a Chinese translation. So this is my perception. I don't know if I am right or if I am wrong, but we have little, a little population of Chinese doctor in Singapore.、Uh, so that's the reason why we decided to,、uh, you know, do a real link in China. You know, China is、uh, the, the biggest country in the world. So how can you avoid it? It doesn't make sense. So that's the reason why we decided.、Okay. The second reason is I have some. Uh, pupils already in China, and、uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. You like Shanghai?、Uh, I like Shanghai. I love Shanghai. Honestly. So,、uh, so this is the reason you choose Shanghai. <laughs> yes. Plus, I have a very good relationship with、uh, Professor Liu,、mm-hmm. so it was a good way to start. You're very famous here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> and、uh, thank you for the first, the first answer. And the second question: and、uh, the flow diverter has been prevailing. Um, so, do you think there still exists a room for the promotion of conventional technique? <sighs> difficult question. Very difficult question.、Uh, honestly, for acute case, yes, coiling is still a very good way to、uh, treat aneurysm. Treat is a cold cold. I mean, it's a very good way to pass the. Bad period after the bleeding, or the dangerous period for the patient. Okay, you coil the sac of the aneurysm. Even if you don't get a perfect anatomical result, you protect the patient for bleeding, and then you can do another treatment, which is more or less a cosmetic treatment to heal completely the neck of the aneurysm. The second step, healing after the bleeding, can be a flow diverter. For aneurysm that have no bleeding history, then、um, the coil system is not exactly the best one anymore. I think we have many example of、uh, bifurcation aneurysm that can be treated with flow diverter. And in addition to that, now we have something that mimics the coils, which is a web. But the web is a single device, which is easy to deploy and safe to deploy. And you can get、uh, at least the same result as the one we get with the coils. It's faster. It looks to be a little bit safer than the coils. And so you know, more and more we move towards, you know, for about 60% of the aneurysm with no bleeding history, with a web or with a flow diverter. So I strongly believe that the best result on a long-term basis are obtained with a flow diverter. And in、uh, regular aneurysm, cold aneurysm,、uh, the coils are disappearing because of the web device coming. It's an evolution. It's a true evolution.、Yeah. But emergency, we still have a, a, a good option for coils, despite the fact that you can also use the web in emergency,、okay. because you don't need to put a double antiplatelets. Yes. The third. Question. Sorry.、Um, at the age of flow diverter, so what do you think? Do you think there is any difference between the training of physician when compared with before? You mean the training,、uh, the training. using flow diverter yeah, yeah. compared to the training using coils or things、yes. like that? It's a little bit different, but honestly,、um, the flow diverter is not that difficult to manipulate. As far as you have a good,、uh, you know, support that we call the base camp. You know, if you have a good base camp,、yeah. then the navigation of the flow diverter 
is not that difficult. The deployment of the flow diverter depends on the, I would say, the property of the device itself mm -hmm. and the way you manipulate. Because, you know, some flow diverter have to be manipulated in a different way compared to the other one. Uh, but otherwise, it's not a big, big deal. You know, if you are used to catheterize, used to treat aneurysm with different devices like coils or, or web or whatever, putting your flow diverter is easy, it's quick, and it's extremely safe. As far as you master, control the double antiplatelets, and you avoid uh, thromboembolic complications. So I don't think it's difficult to deliver flow diverter. You know, in addition to that, now you can deliver flow diverter in smaller and smaller catheter. Today we have a flow diverter going through the 17 microcatheter, which is the same one you use for the COIS business. So, you know, you use a SIG Vista, for example, it goes through a 17. It's a flow diverter. So the, the, the technology is evolving. The, the, the easiness of the treatment is also getting better and better. So I joke. I joke a little bit, but sometimes I say, you know, to my secretary, if I teach you the way to put a flow diverter for six months, you will do the same job by me. <laughs> it's a kind of joke, but you know, it's know, know. just to, to demonstrate how easy it can be. In other words, easy enough for a robot to... Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.